Hello my doves, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to After Day by Olympia. It's your girl Olympia here and I do videos here on YouTube about beauty and makeup available in Australia for deeper skin tones. So welcome to this video guys. I am finally, finally sitting down to do my long awaited eyeshadow palette collection. I'm doing the intro now, I haven't actually done it yet, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a little bit of my beauty room at the same time, do it a little bit of a vlog style, uh, but I thought I would sit down first and explain some things before we move into, you know, what's going on around me. So, listen, I have a problem. I think we've discussed and established this <laughs> a while ago. I have an actual problem. I have, I think, more than 120 eyeshadow palettes. I haven't counted. I will let you know how much I have probably at the end. Um, but yeah, so we're going to finally just sit, sit down and have a look at my collection. Um, a lot of the stuff I do own is not used. Yo, don't hate on me. Like, I work full time. I buy way too much makeup that I can realistically get through but I love it so much it is my passion um, I am on YouTube to show you guys you know some of these products on how they work on my skin tone and things like that so I also purchase with the intention of doing a video on them um, but sometimes I don't get around to it because there's just so many new releases and yeah listen I'm not gonna go too long with this intro because this video is gonna be very long I suggest you get some popcorn, make sure there are no distractions, sit down, relax, and enjoy uh, this video. Oh, one more disclaimer before I go. I have short, disgusting nails. I never, you'll never see me really do my nails on this channel unless I'm on holiday, like for a good four weeks or so, or at least longer than a week, because I am a registered nurse and I do work with young adults, like, well, young children, I should say. <laughs> I work in pediatrics. Um, and yeah, it is not sanitary to have falsies or, you know, painted nails while working as a nurse because it harbors infection, all that, all that yucky stuff. So my hands are going to look disgusting. Just ignore them. Focus on the palettes. I have a setup here behind me. I don't know if you can see. So I'm going to set it all up and uh, show you guys my palettes. I'll also show you a little bit of my storage, like how I store them and things like that. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. From the top, drop that. Yeah, feel the funk, y'all. I'm currently in my beauty room. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this, but I wanted to show you first uh, my setup. So, so this is my main kind of storage area. I have a lot of my palettes kind of on display here and here, and then in the bottom two drawers. So I'll just open those up. So palettes. And palettes yes I have a lot and then I also have palettes kind of over here on display and then these are kind of new products so I've got eyeshadow palettes that I've bought new like that one I just got recently the uh, oh my god don't make me say it <laughs> the Riviera eyeshadow palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills um, and I do have kind of like upcoming videos ideas that I pop in these containers here with a little post-it note about like which you know what I'm filming like what products are in there for filming so I do have some eyeshadows in there as well so what I'll do is I'll basically take everything out I'll take everything out from there from here from the drawers and I'm going to lay them out here and this is where we're going to actually sit down and do the collection um, I also have storage on this side of the room these are kind of like i don't know my holy grails go-to faves um and then i've just got like makeup makeup 
makeup. So I don't really need to organize. I It's actually kind of well organized. I just need to show you guys my palette collection. So let's get into that. Let's, well, keep going. Let's start, I should say. I'm gonna start with items that I've just recently got in my collection. Recently being in the last, I'm gonna say, two months. So starting off with the ColourPop Chasing Rainbows palette. This is what it looks like here. I wanted to go into more colorful palettes this year. So anything that's colorful kind of drew attention to me like big time. This particular palette um, is the 2018 Christmas palette. Um, I do love the ColourPop formula. You will see a lot of ColourPop color, uh, palettes coming through um, this collection. So that's the first one. Next one is Drugstore. This is the Maybelline New York Lemonade, Lemonade Craze palette. As you can see, I haven't even opened it yet. I got the Dubious Place, The Tribe. Um, as you can see, awesome greens, neon yellow, browns, golds, uh, oranges. I live, I live for this color story. Yeah, let's just swatch some of these shims. Like, how stinking cute. Like, what even is that? The Warrior 2 palette. Um, yeah, so all matte palette. Uh, I live. Earthy tones. Um, can't wait to get stuck into this palette for sure. I do have a number of Juvia's Place palettes that I actually haven't used. This is one of them, unfortunately. I do like the Juvia's Place mattes. They are kind of more hardly pre like harder pressed, but they still they still perform really well. So just have that in mind. I don't really get a lot of fall out with Juvia's Place and mattes if I can remember correctly. It's been a while since I've used a Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette, but I also recently got the So Hot uh, by Folklore. Now, if you saw my whole video, you would have seen this eyeshadow palette in that. Uh, just looking at these colors makes me so happy. That top row is so much fun. I don't know much about this formula. I've never used Folklore eyeshadow palettes before, so I can't really give an, an opinion about what they're like, but this color story is just beautiful. I love, I absolutely love. I also recently got the Elf Opposites Attract palette. Then I recently got the Desert Queen by Mecca Maxia. This is also a face palette, so you can use this on the eyes and on the face. So you can use this as blush, you can use this as highlight. And I reckon I could get away with bronzing slash contouring with that shade right there. Oh, dang, was not ready for that purple. That is the Bieber palette. Um, I love this palette. Don't know what the, about the formula. Really pretty. I also recently got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. Riviera? Oh my god, I cannot say this palette's name. Oh. Anyway, amazing packaging. Bright, bright shades. I'm really happy with that. So, and I love her formula. A little bit powdery, but I don't really care about kick up. Um, as long as it performs well on the eye and blends well, I am happy. Which Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes that, that I've used do do that. Oh my god, it's so stinking cute. It's called Glitter Storm Palette by Ciate. This was their 2018 Christmas palette launch. So cute. I love the packaging. Oh my god. Now, I got this from mecca.com.au and it is still available. Let me just swatch this top row because you're going to lose your mind. What even is that? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? That's amazing. So they all have kind of like a base color with a silver glitter kind of running throughout it. And I think it's just amaze balls. Oh my God. Okay, so this next stack are uh, from my section where I talk about uh, upcoming videos. So these are gonna be featured in upcoming videos on my channel. So they're in a separate section. So I've got all six of the Designer Brands ICU Six Shade Eyeshadow Palettes. I'm actually currently wearing this one on my eye currently. Y'all should go to my Instagram because I did an Instagram tutorial on um, this particular palette. Just wanted to use the blues and get onto that 
blue eyeshadow trend that's currently going on because of Jeffree Star's Blue Blood and a whole heap of blue palettes have come out this year from Tarte. There just seems to be a lot of blue. So I thought I would do a kind of affordable drugstore version of that. So go and check out my Instagram for that look. So yeah, this is the palette I use. This one is called Sea Breeze. There's also Car King, which is my second favorite. It's got the greens, um, the browns, absolutely live for this one. And then my next favorite would have to be Fired Up, which has got all the oranges and the reds and the burnt, burnt um, colors right up my alley. And then I love the Make It Mauve. Ugh, which is all the mauve tones. This is actually a dupe for um, Kat Von D's Lolita palette. A lot of these colors are repeated in that palette. I'll show you, I'll, sh I'll put this aside and I'll show you how, how similar they are in a moment when I get to it. But yeah, um, so if you like that palette and you don't want to buy it because you don't support her, check out Designer Brands and this um, Make It More palette. Um, they do ship internationally. So if you're in the US, you can get your hands on all the designer brand stuff. So it's that one. And then my next favorite would actually have to be the Coco Loco, which has got all the browns, a um, little bit of some pink in there. Love the looks I create with that. And then last but not least is the Smoke and Glitter, which is your, just your standard kind of neutral um, glittery. But this gold is like, insane these shadows are so pigmented it's amazing how pigmented they are um don't sleep on designer brands guys because they are doing some good things i've done a video for every single like a tutorial for every single one of these eyeshadow palettes so go check out that playlist i will link that in the cards for you guys all right uh so i've got some nyx shadows i've got Avon Pop, this one Art Throb. Also have the lip, no, it's the lid lingerie, I should say, which has got more of your neutral base tone. So I'm gonna do a look real soon, a full face of NYX kind of using both of these. And then I've got these are the Elf palettes, Mad for Matte. This is the old matte one. And then I've also got Nude Rose Gold, which I think this is supposed to be, yeah, naked two or three, I don't, I don't know. I'll tell you right now, I'm gonna declutter these two. The formula was so patchy on me, um, I couldn't get it to blend. I had, I had so much trouble with these. This is by Focalor, this is the Sunset Palette, um, 16 page eyeshadow palette. It does include a cream kind of, um, concealer shade just like the new nudes which I'm going to show you next and then this is the new nudes you guys would have seen it's so dirty I don't know how people keep it clean it's impossible it's actually impossible okay I love 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 this eyeshadow palette every single look I create with it is just so soft and beautiful but punchy at the same time the formula is absolutely amazing i am hitting hard pan on this one here this one here i don't know why i can still use the shades perfectly fine they don't the actual um the actual formula or the performance sorry i should say hasn't changed even though i've got hard pan it's just odd See, so very pigmented and those pearlescent shades, oh my God. See, that's a pearlescent shade there and that's a pearlescent shade there. A matte and as you can see, hella pigmented like. And this is the Models Prefer Sunset Eyeshadow Palette. And I feel like this is a dupe for the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk. The Huda Beauty Desert Dusk. And as you can see, it's very, very similar. 
I then have this pretty vulgar eyeshadow palette, Venus R Phoenix Rising. Kind of your standard warm tones. This is not new by all means, but I know that Pretty Vulgar only recently came to Australia through Sephora, like maybe six months ago. Okay, so this next stack is from my top shelf. So these are all my kind of holy grails and like absolute favorites. I have not used all of them, but they kind of hold a special place in my heart. We're gonna start off with the Pat McGrath Labs eyeshadow palettes. This is the Mothership Sublime Bronze, Platinum Bronze. So definitely a wearable kind of everyday eyeshadow palette. There's five shimmers, one matte, and I love it. So I have to mention though that Pat McGrath Labs is my favorite, all time favorite eyeshadow formula. I think it is the best and well worth the price. Some people don't agree with me on that and that's completely fine, but with my experience and what I've used in terms of how easy and breezy it is to use and the punch and pigmentation you get, this is up there, definitely. So this is my next one. This is my second favorite. This is the Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation. And this one is your warm tones with your pop of green. Uh, I like it more so than the one we just saw because it has two mattes um, that I can kind of work with. And then it's got the four shimmers with that pop of green, which is absolutely gorgeous. Next, we have the Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition. So that's what it looks like here. One matte. This matte is a little bit too, it's a little bit too light. I can't really get a good, um, see how it just kind of melds into my skin. It's literally kind of like my skin shade in a palette, which is disappointing because there's no other mattes in here. I'd, ba I'd basically have to get some other shades, some deeper shades to use this palette. I can't use it on its own. But yeah, I can't really do a whole cohesive look. But yeah, listen, the shimmers are actually really beautiful, so. And then the last one in terms of like the smaller palettes, this one is the La Vie en Rose. La Vie en Rose, I think is how you say it. Um, and this is like the old purple pink palette. Yeah, this gold is probably the softest, most amazing gold to work with. Like, what even? How? How is that possible? I'm sorry, I don't even, I don't even know. Yeah, so that gold, and it complements the pinks in here really, really well. This shade might not look like much, but it's actually really quite dark. Trust me, it is. Okay, so these two palettes I got, these are the only two um, large palettes I've got in my collection. So this particular one, I did do a tutorial, kind of first impressions on my channel. I'll link this, that video in the cards. I love the look that I created with this, with this eyeshadow palette. It looked so expensive, so luxurious. I absolutely loved it. They all work beautifully and I love the pigmentation. And this shade here is absolutely to freaking die for. It's probably my favorite shade like, of all time. It's just beautiful, that red. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And then I've also got, what's this one? Mothership 2 Sublime. I have not used this. This is probably the only one out of my collection that I'm yet to kind of delve into. Yes, I love it. There it is there, beautiful. If I was to rank my favorite, it would be this one followed by this one, then this one, then this one, I haven't used it yet, but the color story wise, this one, this one, and then this one last. Then on my top shelf, I've got the Jaclyn Hill uh, Morphe palette. You guys have seen this a billion times by now. I love this palette. I tend to graduate, to graduate, graduate. I tend to gravitate towards the same shades. And honestly, it's this corner up here. 
but having a look at this mustard shed i really want to use oh, i have used that but it looks really really good it's kind of calling my name anyway the shimmers shim the mattes are buttery so easy and soft to use effortless basically um i have no negative to say about this palette and then i have the morphe dare to create Woo, i love this palette i should use this more often look at it it's so just it reminds me of the urban decay born to run but just more more colors very kind of dark grungy shades um deep but not deep and punchy but not overly like in your face which i appreciate you know getting into color this is a good palette to get into color that's not as intimidating born to, to run urban decay is also another kind of colorful palette that's not intimidating as well okay so here are the rest of my anastasia beverly hills eyeshadow palettes oh that's not it so <laughs> some of these i haven't used yet i know it's shocking right okay so this one is the sultry it's neutral cool but this is like a non-intimidating kind of cool shade eyeshadow palette like i said cool tones aren't really my thing but i just had to get it it is a christmas limited edition the packaging is absolutely gorgeous like some of the best packaging i've ever seen then the prism i love everything about this palette the, the colors are right up my alley you've got some brights you've got some neutrals um, those shimmer shades look absolutely gorgeous and once again I do trust the Anastasia Beverly Hills formula other than subculture when I saw the reviews for that I was like Ooh. some people do say that the prism is kind of similar to the subculture but yeah there's that the Novena palette beautiful there's not really a shade that I can use to kind of deepen a look, but I don't really mind so much. I still think I can create some really bomb looking looks with this palette. This is the Modern Renaissance. I love this palette. Trust me, I have this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade. I have used a lot. Um, I love every single look that I create with this. You guys have probably seen this a hundred times already, but there's a reason why everybody has this palette because it's actually quite good. So, and then I've got the Anastasia Soft Glam. I live for this palette. The looks I've created have all been so soft, but punchy yet romantic. Um, I love it. Beautiful, beautiful um, eyeshadow palette. Awesome formula a little bit dusty but you just tap it off you get excellent pigmentation with it so yeah start with just peachy mattes uh this is on my top shelf but i have not used this one yet either it's on my top shelf because i just really like the color the colors kind of um they are my aesthetic like as you can see like these mauve tones i live for these mauve tones on my channel like there's just mauve tones everywhere like i just love it i love anything mauve that dusty pink oh life and then in terms of the tins i've got the Too faced gingerbread spice eyeshadow palette this was the 2018 uh christmas palette i love this palette i actually took this palette with me when i went to melbourne for the designer brands photo shoot for their new foundations i took this i took this one with me because i knew i would be able to make bomb looking looks with it the only shade that i think is poo poo kaka is this shade here which is um to say frostbite me i don't know how you're supposed to use this shade i it doesn't work wet it doesn't work dry um i tried using my finger like as like a topper shade but it just removed the shape shimmer shade i had on underneath i don't know what to do with that shade like if anybody knows how to work this shade can you let me know because i don't know like it it's the only shade in here that's like why <laughs> it's so frustrating um but yeah no longer available if you could get your hands on this when you when it came out good on you because it's a good palette then the other Too Faced kind of tins, I basically have all of them except for Bon Bon, I think. Chocolate Bon Bon. Those shades did not appeal to me whatsoever. So I've got Too Faced Sweet Peach. I've used this one a handful of times. I'm in two minds about whether I actually like 
the look it's actually quite neutral like this is not i don't see this as a warm tone palette i mean when i think peach shades i think warm tones and this is really not then i've got the chocolate gold and oh my god this eyeshadow palette is life these shimmer shades are absolutely gorgeous. If there's one Too Faced eyeshadow palette that I would 100% recommend, it would be this one. Like, it's just gorgeous. I love everything about it. Then I've got the Too Faced Chocolate Semi Sweet. Have not used this yet. This is kind of neutral, edging towards cool. I think I just bought this just for the sake of having it, which is terrible, but um just to kind of round off the chocolate bar palettes that i kind of wanted to try this is one of the ones i wanted to try i did swatch it in, sh in store and i was really happy with the shades like i thought the shades were beautiful i've just yet to get around to using this on my eye so yeah and then the last one is the original chocolate bar and i have not used this one either <laughs> wow that's terrible um this looks beautiful does not look beautiful very neutral um pushy on cool but it has some shades that appeal to me in that it's very wearable so it's a little bit of fun right there then to finish off my Too Faced collection i do have the Too Faced christmas cafe collection it was a christmas collection a couple of years back so it's three palettes. Um, they're all supposed to be scented. This one is eggnog latte. Doesn't really smell like that. Oh, has a tiny hint of latte maybe. Green shade, those two shades are absolutely beautiful. Uh, this blush is too light for my complexion. I don't use it at all. Yeah, the face shades are a bit of a pass for me all round, but the eyeshadows, are quite good um this is the peppermint one these eyeshadows once again are beautiful i've only used this a couple of times but i was very happy with the look that i created um and then this is the gingerbread cookie one very cool toned i have not used this so yeah that's my Too Faced collection i don't have any more from Too Faced. okay so next let's do let's finish off the hooda i reckon so I do have the Huda Beauty uh, Rose Gold Palette Remastered. I did not purchase the original um, Rose Gold. And when it was announced that they were going to be discontinued with the intention of this being released, but without letting people know, I did not rush out to buy it. I don't know. I just didn't feel the need to. I kind of had an inkling that if it was going to be discontinued, that they were going to replace it with something. So I was just thought I'll just see it, like, just wait. I have used this, like, maybe four or five times since I did my initial video, and I love it. I love the formula. I know some people hate it. I it doesn't work on their eye. I don't know. I love all the shades. Um, every single shade in here is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and I live. I then also have all of the gemstone or like the obsessions I should say. So I'll start with the electric obsessions. I've used this maybe three or four times. Um, I love it. Very pigmented, not patchy at all. I don't have any problems with this one i haven't used them all i think some people were saying that some of them have a, a little bit different i myself have not um had any issues so far with the ones that i've used i uh, love that one Ooh, let's just throw it away uh, this one is the warm browns i have not used this one yet i don't know why i need to I need to use them. Um, this one's the Morb Obsessions, and I've used this one. As you guys already know, Morb is like my favorite color. Like it actually is my favorite color ever. Do you wanna focus? Yeah, so I've used this a number of times. Every single look I've created with this has been gorgeous. I love, love it, actually love it. Okay, so um, this is Coral. Yeah, Coral Obsessions. I think it's pretty. Haven't used it yet. Need to use it on the list to use. 
Then we've got Smoky Obsessions. This is probably my least favorite. Then in the last one is the Gemstones Obsessions. Sapphire, Amethyst, Ruby, Emerald, Topaz. Yeah. So there's like five shades in there that I think then was the inspiration for the, the next lot of palettes I'm gonna show you. So yeah, awesome, awesome palette. So with the Gemstone Obsessions, I've got all five and I have not used any of these. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So this one is Sapphire, obviously. Um, that shade there is amazing. Need to use this, need to use this, especially with the whole blue eyeshadow trend that's currently happening at the moment. Um, I am gonna do another blue look, I reckon, with this for my Instagram, because I'm just obsessed with these blue looks, honestly. Then there is Amethyst Obsessions, and I did purchase these all at the same time, like these gemstone ones, I bought them all together. Um, oh, I have used this one, <laughs> my bad. So I have used this one, um, purple being one of my favorite colors, purple morph, kind of same family. I'm not surprised that I've used this. So yeah, these were awesome. This was not patchy at all. The other trend that's growing at the moment is all the greens. This is the Emerald Obsession and I have not used this yet. I want to use this. It looks beautiful, but that's not, doesn't that just give you life? I don't know why I'm, I, see I've been telling myself that I need to get more colorful eyeshadow palettes, but I have colorful eyeshadow palettes. Like I have a lot of color. I need to relax and like not stress out. Um, so this is the Ruby Obsessions, the reds and whatnot. Gorgeous. That's not really red though. Um, but yeah, that's really pretty. I really like that. And then the Topaz. Topaz. Cute. Okay, moving through my top shelf, I do have three KKW eyeshadow palettes. So this one is the KKW X Mario. I did not get this with the initial launch. I got this like about a year later, I believe. And I got them all at the same time. So these have not been used either. It's terrible of me. Yes, yeah, so I can't really comment on the uh, formula. Classic Blossom, which looks like that. I can only see myself maybe using this side. Buttery though, that feels really buttery. Ooh, the pigmentation is there. It's actually really cute. And this one's just the classic. All my alley and deeper and I think I got my nail in those two shades there and ruined them, but you know. Okay, another top shelf holy grail for sure that I absolutely love. This is probably my second favorite palette after the um, Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 5. This is the Christian Dominique Latte palette and I love it. It looks like I haven't used it very much, but I've used this eyeshadow palette a lot. The shades are so easy to blend. They just sit on my eye so easy. They blend so well. I have nothing bad to say about this palette whatsoever. Um, another favorite of mine is the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. I've used this a handful of times, not a lot, maybe three or four. Yeah, it's a really good formula. Like it's pigmented, blends really well, not overly dusty. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I haven't traveled with it yet. It feels like it would be a really good one to travel with. Natasha Denona, some more Natasha Denona. The only other Natasha Denona palette that I've got is the Star Palette and I'm yet to use this one as well. Um, another palette that I love is the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts. Everybody and their dog was like raving crazy raving about this palette and they are not lying. It is absolutely stinking gorgeous. Colored Rain, this formula is just, like I don't even know what to do with myself. Like I don't know what to do with myself. Like it is up there with Natasha Denona in my, Natasha Denona, um, Pat McGrath in my opinion. Just the pigment alone. 
Um, I've got the Sahara 2 eyeshadow palette. I love this palette so, so much. Shimmers are beautiful. Mattes are beautiful. These three matte shades are like perfect in my crease and my transition. This is an awesome transition color. It's brown, but it's got a hint of orange in it and it just looks so beautiful. It's excellent. And then I've got the Nubian as well, which is, this is the first um, Juvia's Place palette that I ever bought. That bottom row is absolutely beautiful. Um, I love doing kind of dark, but not too dark smoky looks with these three, these four shades here. It's an awesome neutral everyday palette. Like you, you won't be disappointed if you were to purchase this one at all. Gemini Melt Cosmetics, and I have not used this yet. I know, I know what you're thinking. If you've made it this far, I know exactly what you're thinking. What the heck, Ollie? Like, what the heck? How can you have such a beautiful palette that everybody's trying to get their hands on? I think this is permanent now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the hype was so real on this that they just had to make it permanent because it was so popular. It's beautiful. I like looking at it, and I need to do a look with these swampy greens like yesterday. Apparently the, these shadows can be quite soft. So um, a light, delicate hand is basically what I've been hearing about the Gemini. Tammy X Revolution. This is the Tropical Paradise. This palette is awesome if you've got deep skin tones. It's got every single shade you could need. Um, this eyeshadow palette does remind me of the Urban Decay Born to Run just because of the darker kind of smokier looking looks um shades i should say um some more affordable top shop i do have some color pop this one is the double entendre eyeshadow palette this bronze shade is absolutely stinking gorgeous like it is one of my favorite eyeshadow shadows as well like it's just for the price the quality is amazing so this is a good sport palette uh i love this shade sister was patching on my eye. Um, I love purple, you know, eyeshadows, but yeah, this eyeshadow palette is so versatile. You can get so many different looks with it and it's beautiful. It's such, such a good choice. And then I have this sleek makeup. Does this not remind you of Mario X um, KKW? Or was that just my imagination? That's really, really similar, hey. Wow, so you just don't realize what you have in your collection until you actually look at what's in your collection because that is hella similar. Interesting. This formula, awesome for drugstore. Um, my Probably my favorite drugstore formula ever. So yeah, that is my top shelf. And now we're gonna move into my drawers. Almost there, guys. Okay, so this is the first drawer that I showed you earlier. Um, we're gonna start off with my Juvia's, the rest of my Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. Um, so starting with the bigger ones, I do have the Magic palette. Beautiful formula once again, I love Juvia's Place. So I'll just basically go through each one that I've got. I've got the Masquerade palette. Now, knowing that they have the smaller version available, I would have purchased the smaller one. I have the Warrior palette. This is the first one. But yeah, beautiful gold tones, absolutely gorgeous. I was tossing up between this one and the Natasha Denona gold. Um, I decided to get this one instead because of the price, obviously. Then I have the Nubian 2, which I've used a lot. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was just thinking like, have I used any of these? I can't even remember. Honestly, nothing uh, negative to say whatsoever about Juvia's Place. I do have the Festival palette. I don't know, this is probably the, my least favorite, only because of the color story. I'm really not quite sure what to do with it like it's just confusing to me so i think i got it just to make my my dubious place collection complete because it's so affordable this was like less than 20 bucks like honestly so affordable and they do specials on their site all the time i have the saharan this is the original saharan beautiful palette yeah you can get a cohesive look with this i have the afrique have not used it oh my god I'm, I'm really sorry guys. Actually, no, I have used it. I've used the orange, but that's the only thing that I've used. 
I don't know why. I probably just needed an orange in the crease and I remembered the Juvia's Place has a lot of oranges. I have the Zulu palette. Once again, nice and bright. Rainbow shades, it looks beautiful. Have I used this? I don't think I've used this. I think I've swatched it, but I haven't used it yet. All right, this is the Deuce palette. Um, I have used this and oh my God, I was obsessed with the look that I created. I love these bubblegum like type shades that are going on here, beautiful. So yeah, that's all my Juvia's Place. But yeah, let's let's go with ColourPop. Okay, so I've got two of the Soul and the Ma. You've probably seen this like a hundred times. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful colors right up my alley. Um, another blue palette that I can do a blue look with. Um, I'm gonna just do my loose shadows real quick. So I've got this Z, just random Z palette um, with ColourPop shadows in here. Do they have their names? Oh uh, yeah, so these are from the high maintenance shadow, like high maintenance quad and another quad, like there's two quads together. I can't remember what the other one was high maintenance and one was something else. But look at those morbid tones. Is that not like beautiful? Like the, just that road there just oh my God, it gives me so much life. And then I also have this palette by ColourPop with these shades. Um, one more in that nine pan is the Ooh La La, which I love every single one of these shades, every single shade I can use in this eyeshadow palette. And I live for this color scheme. Like I do have this one, the Fortune palette. This to me is very similar to the Too Faced uh, gingerbread spice, very, very similar eyeshadows. Love the colors, warm tone galore. And then I've got the Perception palette and I literally live for this palette. Very similar to the Urban Decay. I kind of use this one more than Urban Decay to be honest. But yes, this is awesome. Beautiful, beautiful palette. Um, highly recommend, highly recommend. Now, I did get the Bretman Rock X Color Pop Lit and Wet, only because I love Bretman Rock. There's probably, honest to God, it was the only reason why I purchased this palette. And then the lid, which is more my alley. Beautiful, beautiful shades, once again. No mirror, which is fine. So we've got the Dream Street. I think everybody's got this by now. You would have seen this multiple times. Love, 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 love. Uh, what's this one? You had me at hello, swatched but not used. She, Femrosa, she or Femrosa? I don't know what it's called. This is the second rollout. The second rollout they had added the shade names to the actual packaging, which was nice. My Little Pony, oh my God, I need, oh, I love this palette. Uh, the look that I created with this palette was so dreamy. I loved it. I'm going to leave this out to use as well. Um, I want to do a look with that particular shade there. Oh, and that shade speaks to me as well. Oh my God, so pretty. Love, 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 love. So I'm going to put that out to use. Yes, please. That red. That red is life. Probably my favorite red matte. So good. Not patchy. Beautiful. Um, love this palette. The yellow is awesome. Browns go really well. Really good palette, that one. And the uh, Give It To Me Straight. I've used this a handful of times. Um, the look I created, it tends to come out looking the same each time. If there's one I had to get rid of, it'd probably be this one. I'll, all I see is magic. This was a 2017 Christmas palette. I went ahead and re um, reorganized this one. This appeals to me way more. I did end up getting the It's a Princess thing. I don't know why. Like when I show you, you'll see what I mean. Like it's pretty safe. Um, so the reason I got this is because I included Tiana and I was just like, oh my God, yes. I love her. She's like my favorite princess. Okay, next we have all of my Tarte eyeshadow palettes. So I'll start with the original Tarte. Uh, I've used this a handful of times. Tartlet in Bloom. And I love this eyeshadow palette. Oh my God, this shade here, I would use almost every single day. when I, Cause I've got these at the same time. 
um, love, love, love. I would put this all over the lid and I, then I would put this like kind of on the inner corner to the mid lid and then I would use this on the outer corner and this, it just looked beautiful, like just effortlessly good. Then I've got the Tartlet Toasted. Now I was disappointed with this. I must say this shade here is the most dustiest. It just goes poof on the lid. Like it just it would not stick to my lid. I don't know why. I'm going to try and use this palette again and kind of, kind of stamp it on first and then blend it out. Like just use a different technique that I wasn't using at the time. Then I have Tartist Pro and I have not used this. I don't know why, I think it's also put off by these two. Honest to God, these two rows, I probably would never even consider using. Like they're just so light. And then I got the Tarte Clay Play. This is the, the version one before they went and changed it. I don't know why they changed it, it was weird. I love this thing. Awesome for just doing like a base first. This is the Tarte Flirt. I think this is supposed to be like a mini version of the Toasted, if I'm correct. I mean, it looks like it would be like a companion to that. The Tartist Pro To Go, obviously, it's just, it's, I've used this one a number of times actually. This one is a kind of companion to this one. I actually really love this palette. Really easy. I've traveled with this palette as well. Um, love it. Then I've got the Tartlet Tease, and I've also used this a lot too. This all over the lid looks absolutely gorgeous. These bronze shades all over the lid I seem to really like a lot. Um, and this in the outer corner is just beautiful. It actually goes darker than what it looks like in the pan. And then in the mini as well, I've got this ColourPop Take Me Home. I do have this four shade eyeshadow palette from Fifth Avenue by Kmart. This one is the Smoky. One of my first ever makeup purchases is this shadow, this nine pan eyeshadow palette. I've used it a handful of times. I found it really hard to work with. I don't know, it just wouldn't stick to my eye. I need to revisit MAC shadows. I haven't purchased any MAC shadows ever since this one because I didn't really have a great time with it but it was quite early on in my makeup day. So now that I'm a bit more experienced, I know a lot more of what I'm doing. I'm going to revisit this one. I'm going to leave it out to revisit for sure. Then I've got some Kat Von D shade and light quads. I've got rust and I've got plum. And then finally my small palette collection. I do have this Essence All About Bronze eyeshadow. Uh, I've used this a couple of times. I find it doesn't last very long on the lid. It just kind of wears off really quickly, even with a sticky base. I'll have to revisit this one as well. If there was something that I was going to uh, declutter, this would probably be one of them as well. Flower Beauty Shimmer and Shade in Golden Natural. This eyeshadow palette is amazing. I take it back what I said about sleep makeup. This is probably better than sleep makeup, um, in my opinion. It was so good. Um, the shimmer shades are so highly reflective. The matte shades blend so, so well. Flossy by Nubia eyeshadow palette. These shades are absolutely gorgeous. Like, I love it. Such an awesome formula. Indie brand, I think it was kind of pricey, maybe $25, I think, each. I Each I say because I bought two. I bought one for my mum for her birthday last year. Um, more from the indie world, I've got this eyeshadow palette Emoya by OPV. I have used this palette a number of times and I absolutely love the looks. Quite dark, grungy. The shimmer shades can get a little bit flaky, but I think that these two are a different formula from the others. So that's interesting, but this is such a deep, awesome, rich brown. Um, I've actually used this to contour um, and to fill in my brows. Like it's, it's, it's good. It's a good palette. And then I have the crayon case. Box of crayons, I should say. Eyeshadow palette. I love the formula. The yellow is amazing. Also got this limited edition Allen's X Sports Girl Beauty Chocolate Freckle Eyeshadow Palette. I love, I love this palette. Oh my God. I love it so much. It is more on the cool neutral tones. Like these shimmers look a little bit more subdued, but they have, they've got such high reflect. 
it's amazing um these two shades in the crease look in the transition area look beautiful um and this is dark enough to smoke out any look it's beautiful it's such a good palette but you cannot get your hands on this anymore i'm really sorry guys to be raving about it but if you did get your hands on it kudos to you because it's an awesome palette and i would probably never declutter it because i love alan's freckles they're my one of my favorite chocolates um and sports girl is a like it's a clothing and accessory store here in Australia um, that I have bought many things in my childhood and onwards from. Like I live for Sports Girl. So this is the Violet Voss hashtag pro, pro hashtag palette. I have not used this. And these shades are like right up my alley. I don't know why. I think I forgot about it. I forgot that I had this. I forgot I had anything Violet Voss. This is the only Violet Voss that I've got. Like it's literally at the back, no wonder. It's coming out of my drawers. I'm gonna use this um, probably in an upcoming video. But yeah, that, that needs to be used for sure. Okay, so I do have some Fenty Beauty. I've got three Fenty Beauty, what I consider to be eyeshadow palettes. So this one is the Galaxy palette. I did not get this with the initial launch. I thought an old shimmer palette, I'm probably never going to use that. And then I saw uh, Tiffany Violet, she's here on YouTube and on Instagram, do a tutorial using, I think, the brown glitter. And it looked so good. I was like, oh my god, I need to recreate that. So I bought this palette. <laughs> it's a terrible like reason, but um honestly i've only ever used this shade here that's it i have not used any of the other shades um and then the other one i've got is the moroccan spice i was very underwhelmed with this eyeshadow palette the formula wasn't that great but this look this is okay it look it's not great but it's not bad either then i do have the kilowatt foil freestyle highlighter palette um these are not highlighter shades. Like, I don't know what Fenty were thinking. <laughs> uh, I actually have used these as shadows. So these, these four make amazing shadows. This one in the inner corner. Um, I have not used the center shade, actually. I don't know what that one is like. Oh, very reflective. They make awesome shadows. Like, the It's My Ray Ray. Love love everything about it love how there's contour shades in here can set my under eye with that one awesome highlighter shades shimmers i like how she's done the shimmers at the top and the mattes at the bottom just a really well thought out palette i do have the take me back to brazil i've not used this yet and the take me back to brazil i haven't heard two good things about the shimmers um but maybe they did better with their shimmer formula in this one. This is an all shimmer palette. We'll see. The weekend festival palette. I don't know why I purchased this. I think because it's so interesting looking. It's an interesting mishmash of actual sh shades. So yeah, it's an interesting selection of colors. Like, I suppose I just have to try and use it. I mean, it's hella colorful. Segwaying into Kat Von D. This is the Lolita. I just wanted to compare it to the ICU. Yeah, see how similar, but like this shade's similar. This shade's similar to that one. Bit of a dupe, not all the way there. These shades are all up my alley. Probably won't be using it on my channel. I'm in two minds about Kat Von D and after her recent video saying that she's not she's not a Nazi or an anti-vaxxer, but then not sharing with, with us about her decisions about vaccination. It's just like a load of crap. Like. Does she think we're stupid? Like, I feel like she thinks, now that we're moving into Kat Von D, I have some things to say. I, I feel like, like, she just needs to take several seats. Just concentrate on the makeup. Like, why are you bringing all this other crap into it? Going into Kat Von D, just because we did the last Kat Von D one there, I also have the 10th anniversary eyeshadow palette. Beautiful, amazing, awesome pigment. Goes on the eye really easy. Nothing negative to say other than the fact that it's Kat Von D. Um, I do have the Shade and Light um, original. I've never used this. You know what? I'll probably will end up decluttering. That's right. The reason why I don't use this and it makes me uncomfortable even holding it, this is the Shade Names. The Shade Names have all to do with like the devil and Satan and it's really quite... Um, makes me uncomfortable. I don't even want to hold this. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this right now. 
this is this is going out i will find somebody to give this to shade and light glimmer yeah glimmer eye contour palette these are all shimmer shades um i really like it i've not used it actually but the shade names are fine yeah the shade names are completely fine um so i'm gonna hold on to this one but yeah i'm definitely getting rid of the other shade and light palette that actually needs to go um now these eyeshadows are from the days that i used to makeup model this is probably going back three years ago now um because these are all makeup artist brands so maron i did not i forgot that i had this like i'm not even kidding you look how bright and see how pigmented i think you can use these wet as well if i remember correctly oh my god look at that are you kidding probably not gonna see how neon that is oh my god oh my god how did i not how did i forget that i had this you guys i am thoroughly ashamed of myself like look how pigmented that is uh, these must be pressed pigments yeah pressed powder pigments and this is the fire palette i don't know much about ooh, pressed pigments yeah let me find out a bit more about pressed pigments i don't know how to use pressed pigments very well i think there's a technique that you're supposed to like stamp them on as opposed to like just swipe them on i don't know i'll have to do some more like watch some tutorials or something on youtube just do a little bit of some research and then i'll probably get stuck into these i'm pretty sure you can use these wet in my recollection i have this ben nye lumiere grand color palette um i'm pretty sure you can use these wet like are you kidding oh that's beautiful these are metallic Yeah, these are all metallic shades, but look at the pigment on that. They're not highly reflective, they're just punchy with color, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that out to use. I think these are Ben Nye. Yeah, these are Ben Nye shadows. I think these all broke, and I picked these out myself. I don't know what I was picking. I was just looking at a catalog and thinking, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Um, little do I know, I am definitely gonna go back to Face Agency when I'm in Adelaide and ask if I can get four more colours to add to here to complete it. I'll take this with me. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. So I might add, to make this like a complete palette, a darker blue or like a metallic blue to complement that one. Because these three shades complement each other. Um that one there i don't know so i'll get like a dark metallic blue here i'll probably get like another gold color here and then i'll get like a transition orange and then like a deep brown the body shop this is when you create your own like eight pan i don't know i don't know why i chose these shades <sighs> i don't like this palette i've used it a number of times um the colors just kind of go poof on me doesn't really last on the lid they're quite lackluster no real punch to them boring as heck so actually i'm gonna get rid of it now because i just don't want it esso lauder sultry nudes wow i got this ages ago like maybe a almost two years ago it's not looking promising guys i'm gonna get rid of this this one is foiled again have not used it meet matte trimony all matte this one i bought really early on when i was looking for an all matte eyeshadow palette and i couldn't get my hands in the Too faced peachy mattes so i went for this one instead and then i never ended up using it it looks beautiful i want to want to use it i'm going to keep it because i just i like those colors the the balm bon jovi or the balm jovi i actually bought this for one shade and it was this one or two shades this one and this one here i thought they looked absolutely beautiful i swatched it at target and i was like oh my god need 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 love this palette um neutral uh wearable looks i could totally see myself using this in a project pan because the pan sizes are so small i could probably get through it quite well it does come with some lip product i have two mark jacobs eyeshadow palettes this one is provocateur this is an all purple pinks 
This one is Scandal Lust and it's like warm tones, beautiful palette, awesome shades, blend well, no issues whatsoever. And then my Zoeva. These are all of my Zoeva palettes. I have a lot. I love Zoeva. Zoeva are one of those brands that no one ever talks about. I don't know why. Their shadows are so buttery, so soft. They're just so easy to use on the eye. They are no fuss. Um, you won't have any issues if you pick up a Zoeva palette. You won't get patchiness. You won't get skipping. You won't, none of that. The shadows are so soft and buttery that, that, it, that it, just does, it just doesn't happen. So this is the Zoeva Nude Spectrum. This is like their bigger one. This is currently part of my project pan. It looks like I haven't used it, but I promise I've used it. The shade is absolutely beautiful. Like, can you see how soft Oh, I've got my nail in it. So how soft it is. Like, shut up. So soft and pigmented. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. The Warm Spectrum, which has got warm shades. That orange is one of the first orange eyeshadows I've ever used. Opulence. Oh my God. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, they're basically all shimmers apart from this one. Matte. I did find it hard to use this as a cohesive palette. I had to dip into others, but I was really drawn to that blue. Everyone knows about the Cocoa Blend one. There's also Caramel Blend one, but those shades are a bit too light for my complexion, so I never did go for that one. But the Cocoa Blend, awesome. Um, it looks like I haven't used it, but I promise you I've used these. Um, so this shade is so transformative. It's amazing. It's a matte brown. Um, with gold flicks through it all over the lid looks so good Aristo. I don't think I've used this one No, I haven't used this one. It's got a full top of mattes and then it's got a bottom of shimmer But like each shade corresponds to the matte. This one is a premiere Look at, look at the artwork on that. Like look at that Can like can we just sit here and appreciate the packaging? Like what the heck? stinking cute yeah and these are so easy to store and travel with like look how slim line that is oh my god so good all right back to the shades i can use every single shade in this palette and that's why this is probably my favorite after the warm spectrum my two of my newest ones to my zoeva collection this is zoeva matte and it's an all matte and i wanted to get this one for opulence basically because this one's the all shimmer fun matte i think they complement each other really really well like this all over the lid deepen it out in the outer corner pop that on the inner on the all over the lid like do you see what i mean like it just complements it so well off line these shades here are a little light i must say but these these two mattes and all the shimmers i can definitely definitely use as a woman of color um now i do have another one of these that i am going to be giving away so i was going to wait to the end but we're getting close to the end anyway so if you made it this far if you comment within the first 24 hours of this video you will be up to win this make sure you include your instagram handle and you could potentially win these are Weaver offline palette. Now, this is open internationally. So if you want to win this palette, the let it packaging has not been opened. It is for you guys to give back to say thank you because y'all, you know, mean a lot to me. So yeah, there's that. And then um, I've got this Inglot 10 pan palette that I created myself. I hate all these shades. I hate this palette, in fact. Um, it is part of my project pan. I'm thinking of swapping this out for something else. This from Illamasqua. This is one of my first ever eyeshadow palettes. So this color Wolf, um, I've almost hit pan on. I love this color just thrown in my crease. If I'm doing like a natural beat, that's what I'm wearing. It's on my holy grail every day favorites section. This is not in the drawers. I love it. Sometimes I will pop this all over the lid. Like I'll put this in the crease, this all over the lid, this in the inner corner, call it a day. I don't use this shade very often. This is obsidian, um, but it is the blackest black. I sometimes use it as a liner and it's the blackest black I have ever come across. Like I've not seen any black blacker than that. Even more black than Pat McGrath. 
like it's blacker than that. This is the Illamasqua Neutral Palette uh, Quad. It's awesome. I think I really do prefer small palettes. As you can see, I'm using my small palettes more so than my bigger ones, which is interesting. I didn't really realize that until doing this um, eyeshadow palette collection. But yeah, I love this. Um, I use this all the time. Like I only used this the other day, like a couple of days ago I used this. So good. So this is the Essence Wanted Sunset Dreams eyeshadow palette. This is a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Heat. Straight up dupe, exactly the same. Beautiful shadows, no problems. I've got some Revolution, more Revolution pal palettes for you guys. This one is the Reloaded Iconic Division one. This is supposed to be like the um, modern renaissance. Um, I haven't even opened this. Oh, they feel really soft. Dang, there's only two metallics in here. So they're the swatches. This is the Sophie X original. Looks pretty. So from Chi Chi, I've got this uh, eyeshadow palette here. This one is the Goddess eyeshadow palette. It's warm tones. Love the Chi Chi formula, works really well on the lid. Um, I've used this a number of times, I love it. Such a good palette. Then I've got the Aphrodite Goddess of Love and Beauty eyeshadow palette. I had to get it because it was called Aphrodite. I don't know if I'm even gonna get this in the screen, it's massive. So there are 54 shades, I believe. Um, I wanna do a palette bingo with this with this palette. This would be a good one to do a palette bingo with. I know Courtney Marie does them a lot on her channel and I love watching them, it's so much fun. Kylie's Diary is the only Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palette that I own and I hate it. These shades are so, nah man, they swatch really trash. I know swatches don't tell the full picture, I get it, I know. But um, I've used this a couple of times on my eye and I just, I don't like it. Um, I know this is not a declutter, but giving that away as well. Giving this essence one away too. Guys, that's it. Okay guys, you made it to the end. Congratulations, pat on the back because this video is probably the longest video I've ever done on my channel. I know it's going to be a long one. Now, just to re-alliterate, the Zoeva Offline palette is up for grabs. Uh, all you need to do to win this palette is to comment in the comment section down below anything you like, as long as you leave your email or your Instagram handle, just some way that I can contact you uh, so that I can let you know that you're a winner. Um, but you need to comment within the first 24 hours of this video being released. So this is basically for my notification gang. This is to say thank you. Um, I will let you guys know the winner of this in a couple of videos after, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Now this look, I think I mentioned in my video anyway, but I did do this look on Instagram. So go ahead and follow my Instagram. Uh, details I will leave it up on the screen for you guys here so that you guys can go check out my Instagram make sure you give me a follow um, you know show some love uh, I do put up my looks on Instagram before the video is going to be released so it's a little bit of a sneak peek about you of like what look I'm going to be wearing or how I'm going to be looking before the video comes out so there's also that uh, yeah that's everything guys I am hella tired it is like two o'clock in the morning I've been filming this video. It took me three hours to film this video, I believe, which is really long. It only takes me an hour and a half to film a video. So this is pushing it. Anyway, guys, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I will see you all on the next video. Take care. Bye.